Hey you guys, we are filming at my home studio. Literally, I have cleared out the front room of uh, Faculty Row of Housing at the university. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's kind of awesome. I literally have just lights and open floor. This is everything I'm already living out of my suitcase going to New York City. And I just make sure that, okay, if I'm doing this today, I've got my clothes and I pull it. Or, oh no, I didn't have it. So I've already got everything vacuum packed and ready to go. Um, this will be my pillow to be vacuum packed. I can fit an entire neck pillow, an entire feather pillow in one of these and they suck down to just flatness. It's just amazing. So I am very organized and I think that that's the only way to survive. So once I get there, I unpack all my toiletries. All of this can explode on the plane and that's okay because it's in my dry bag that I use when I go scuba diving and stuff like that. And snorkeling and just to the beach in Costa Rica is my favorite place to be in the planet, not gonna lie. I'd like to be at Shell Beach all the time. Just hop from beach to beach to beach and then go repel some more volcano waterfalls. Ah, heaven! And then next time we go, I'm going to kayak down the volcano and they only do that once because they have to reserve the water and save it up at the top for a long time and then you get to go down and it would take you get to go out one day so you have to reserve it way in advance and then i say you go do that and then you go right back up that mountain and you repel down those 11 waterfalls and it's with the guides you're so safe anybody can do it if you have any if you can just hike up those steep steps you can do it but Everybody was doing it. Every age was doing it. It was wonderful. I feel like a total badass when you do it because it's like, yeah, I just repel waterfalls. But you let go and you don't fall. And you're like, really? See, guys, I knew I wasn't doing anything. So you can't, you can't hurt yourself. It's sad to say. I, I wanted one a dangerous one. But that's Audrey's action adventure that I got to do last year. Was on. Ah! I drug my husband along. He finally admitted that he wasn't excited about doing it, but he did it for me, so I kind of feel bad about that, so I probably won't make him do that again. But anyway, I keep all my toiletries in here, and then I check them, um, because it's just too much to carry on. And then I have, a, I have a plan for everything that I need. This is my uh, tripod that can go anywhere, so I'm gonna be a content creator like a crazy person while I'm, uh, well, I have to start doing that now, all right? And then I'm taking a, I'm taking my own steamer and I'm getting a new one. I'm going to make sure that it's clean on the inside. I'm going to also heat my water up in the morning with this, pour it into my cup. I'm also prepared with my own food. So if I am, I'm on my own, you know, like if I go to the YMCA, you got to provide your own, you get a little, you have to plug everything in. I don't know what you get. You're lucky if you get a microwave. I don't even know if you get a microwave, honestly. And so, I'm just, I'm prepared. I've got my morning coffee, my morning tea, my whatever, my evening stuff. And then I have my little cup. So I've got my to-go coffee and my, I have a filtered water bottle. You know, I kayak and I camp, so I'm a tough girl. I can drink New York tap water. I just put it in my filter. <laughs> I'll feel better about it, right? And then I even have a little to-go box for if I have to-go food, because I always, I never can eat a whole meal. So I always get something that I can travel and keep for the next day's lunch or that night. And I have my little frozen pack. So I just have, you know, be prepared. I'm prepared for every single day. Living in New York after I am TA, this is how I plan to survive. Once you leave the house, you have to have everything that you need for the entire day because there's no running back to Queens or to Brooklyn if you're in Manhattan or even if you're uptown, there's no running to downtown. Oh, it's just 10 blocks. Yeah, you're not gonna make it. <laughs> it's just not gonna happen. If you forget it, you just forgot it. That's it, done, it's done. So, figure it out. Figure it out, don't let it happen again, be prepared. So, I'm gonna have a little London Fog looking tote bag that I'm gonna carry around all day. Kinda like this, but I really don't wanna lug around a suitcase that looks so much like a suitcase, but basically I need a suitcase. So I'm gonna get one of those wider, wide, you know, kinda like a, you know, you'll see. I'm gonna get that. And then this has the portfolio on it, which is very heavy, by the way. And then your comp cards, your resumes, business cards, collect, keep your notebook, your pen. I just keep all of my stuff here. I'm gonna have the Diane Dick logo put here, just because agents will stop you to see your book, just because we get to shoot with some of the best photographers, honestly. They wanna just see their work, if anything. Even if they don't care about you! Even if you're not their genre, they wanna see that book, just because they wanna see, oh, who's shooting what, and what are they doing now, and da 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 and do I wanna book them, and yes, I do. And so, how do I get them at my studio? 
So they want to look at your book. And then, so I'm prepared for that. I'm also, they're taking that. Um, I take everything that I need for the evenings, like sleep. I'm taking, I mean, anything that I could possibly need. I need a sound, so I have my, I have my, um, I can do my fan or my, whatever. What I listen to TED Talk. Actually, I go to bed listening to Andrew Huberman podcast and the Huberman podcast, the Huberman, the Huberman lab. And I love it. He just science. I can listen to a two and a half hour podcast, a three hour podcast and listen to it over and over again until I understand all the science and just start to remember the lingo and the science. I just love it. I love it. And I also listen to ancient history and um, history and uh, just I love uh, humanities and civics and just culture. I love culture and I love travel. So, you know, I listen to TED Talks and stuff like that. Interesting. Every night. So that's my spiritual thing. And then I always have my own charger. And then, this is after it goes to my, I don't know what that goes to, but I'll figure it out because it goes to something that's missing. I borrowed something out of my sleep bag and I don't know what it is, so now I'm in big trouble, mister. What did I do with it? All right, let's see. I have a sleep mask. And you know what? I just do not trust my phone. Sometimes I don't hear it go off and so I'm just paranoid that I can't sleep. So I just I just carry this little tiny reporter, uh, alarm clock on me, and I have a battery. I keep the battery separate so it will not go off in the airport because that would be a disaster. Also, I keep an emergency morning tea or a morning coffee, whatever I'm feeling. If I cannot have coffee stains on my teeth that day, I use this immune tea because I still feel like I get coffee, but I use this and that is white. So it does not stain your teeth. And then I just feel like I have something warm and fabulous in the morning like everybody else gets to have. And I have to figure that out. Oh, it goes to the head. Yeah, it goes to the headphones. So I gotta find the headphone charger. I'm borrowing it for the other. Uh oh, yep. Don't be borrowing stuff out of here now. Okay. So I'm also taking my own extension cord because sometimes the cord, the plug-in is way far away from the bed and I want my phone all night long, but it'll die and it's just too far away. And so I need my extension cord or the hair dryer is too far away or whatever is too far away. And I have a, okay, I do not travel with a light ring because those rings break so easily. They crunch and then they shut and then the bulbs break so easy. So this, you just hardly can't break this. And it's just a fabulous light. I'll show you. It looks like, looks like those professional lights. I'll show you on both cameras. I have two cameras working. Okay, looks like those professional lights. All right, ding, ding. <sighs> okay. I'm filming with two cameras only to get used to filming with more than one camera. So I need to actually put that camera over here. So I have different takes, but I'm just not ready to edit yet. Okay, so anyway, I'm doing tripod and I'm taking my own light. Why you say? Because everywhere I go to get ready, I cannot get ready in the bathroom. Everybody goes, well, you just get your turn in the bathroom. Oh, no. <laughs> you don't want your turn in the bathroom after everybody else has been in the bathroom, believe me. It's steamy and it smells like things. And then when it smells like things and it's steamy, it does smell like a white. <laughs> no! So I set up my own thing, I tell you. I'm taking my own rolling rack, which I found out now, the ones that I bought at Walmart, do not fit in my bag like they used to. I used to take that bag to New York and it, my, I could just assemble a, a, just a clothes rack and it would fit in that, but now it doesn't. So I gotta figure it out. And I think what I'm gonna do is order it from Walmart in New York and have it delivered to my room or to the concierge at the Hilton Hotel. That's what I think I'm gonna do. So you're gonna have to have your own place to hang your clothes. Cause imagine four people in two, two double beds it with one tiny little closet one tiny little bathroom, one tiny little bathroom sink. 
and one ice bucket, one air conditioner by the window, or, you know, I always seem to end up by the elevators I like. I like that. So that could happen. I'm telling you. Anyway, take your stuff that you need. Be prepared for everything. Besides, if I'm going to create content there, if I want to shoot in the stairwell and there's no light, I need to create my own light. So I'm also going to take a little battery operated ring light. I bought those little $5 ones, six, $7 one from Walmart. Not one of them worked. Once it died, I recharged it and it never worked again. So I took it back. I got another one. It did it again. I took it back. I got another one. Dang it, I threw the package away and I can't return it. So now I'm just stuck with the third one. It's just junk. Don't do it. All right, so there's this. Also, I take this, I actually, you, I usually just carry all my stuff around, like all my toiletries, my makeup bag, everything from the shower to, like, if you have to go, when you're in Europe, your hotel room, and if you're staying at a and b or if you're staying wherever, sometimes you don't get to have your own bathroom right in your room. You have to go down the hall or whatever. So, I would keep my toiletries and everything in this. It's kind of like, also, if I need, if, say that person doesn't come out of the shower and you need some you need to go. You got to get ready. You got to shave your legs. You got stuff. You need to get busy. And so you just go fill this up with your warm soapy water. Take, shave your legs. Do what you got to do. Do your camp shower. It's all good. Just do what you got to do, girl. You know you've got that dry spray shampoo to get you through the day just so you can clean off first. And then, um, so I do that. And then I am prepared for... If I'm couch surfing with my friend, Lita, if you get your own place and you need someone to sleep on the floor and throw money at you, I would be so happy to be that person. I don't take up my time. We could share clothes. Okay, you can just wear my clothes. But anyway, I'm bringing my own bedding. See, this is two sheets. They're, they're single and I've got four pillowcases. These are two towels, and these are awesome. These are from, oh, oh man, it's where I get my repelling and my kayaking equipment down in San Antonio, and I can't remember. Anyway, it's like a outdoor, hmm, wow, really can't remember because I'm old. It's not a, it's like, not world trade. It's not, I don't know what it is, but it's awesome. It's a fun, really fun place. But anyway, it's a chamois camping towel, and it's kind of great. I don't get the fuzzy ones. They're not so great. They're not so absorbent. This is not fuzzy. You can see it. it looks like Berber carpet, but it's soft. And don't use downy on it because then it does not absorb. And then I have my own wash racks. See? Prepared. I will also condense my pillow so I'll have all of that. So basically, I am prepared. Oh, also for my food. I know that. I can't check this, so I'm going to. Well, I mean, I've got to, you know. All right. So I know that I'm taking my own scissors. I can cut lettuce and stuff like that with this. And then I am taking a steak knife. So, you know, you need a steak knife. And then I'm also taking my hair shears because I have to trim up my own hair. All right, and I have those wrapped up. Really. Oh, what else do I have in here? Oh yeah, just some regular old cutting. Those are just regular. Trim the snip the fuzz off of your you know what I'm talking about. Alright, so also I have two COVID tests and okay, this is a little tool that I find absolutely most helpful. Let me show you what else this. This is all okay. Alright, in my freezer bag, this is so if I get if I go buy my own groceries, which I will, I'll need a way to bring my groceries home and also I'll need a way to keep it cold. So I'm just going to get baggies full of ice and then I'm going to keep them in my freezer bag. I was going to take another cooler and I thought, ah, eh, it's just kind of getting redundant. So I think my baggies of ice, if it melts, then I've got bags of water and it'll be cold in there and then I'll turn it out. And then, let's see, that's just the, you know, the, the cover to, the filter to the light. Oh, I make sure that I take a head cover, you guys because I'm proper like that and I want the designers and the people that I work for to know that I use a head cover, that I'm, I'm respectful of their clothes, that I understand that that's their livelihood and I have no right or arrogance to mess that up. And so I use a head cover and it's hilarious, I'm not gonna lie. Let's see, I had mine down here, oh, I had it. 
don't know who cares. I have it packed, darn it. Everywhere I look, I have head cover, I have head cover. And I finally now I don't have head cover anymore. Doesn't it figure? Okay, well that's just how it goes. I'm gonna find it, just wait. Okay, so now I have this random bag of stuff. Tape, so tape your shirt down, your underwear on, things like that. Uh, Febreze, a puke bag, so I get nauseous. Uh, Band-Aids, Downy, wrinkle releaser, more, oh, I've got a little sewing kit, more body tape, and get out of that. It's a lot of stuff, man. But think about it, if you're gonna live on your own, you have to be completely self-reliant, and you kinda gotta do your own laundry. So this is my garment bag. I also have, in my purse, I keep a wardrobe uh, uh, lint brush, but I keep that in my bag at all times. So every day, that way if I don't wear it and I don't really make it too dirty, I try to just wash it, brush it off with one of my wash rags. Wash rags. I brush it off with one of my wash rags and then I clothes brush it or I use my lint brush to try to get, just get it clean, spot clean it for as long as I can. and then. You know, when you get a little stinky, it's time to wash it. And you gotta go down and find the laundromat, which time sucks, so it's no fun. And then this is one of my favorite tools for everything. Say you are living in a model's apartment and there's a lot of you, because the more you can cram in there, the less you gotta pay, right? And you have no place to do your makeup. So you wear one of these aprons and you put all your makeup tools here, okay? You got your blow dryer, your, I, okay, this is me. All my, like, even my curling iron, my blow dryer, everything I gotta have, I'm like, got a cord, it's all hanging off of me. And then I've got my makeup tools, my brushes, and then my, my bags right here. So all the stuff that I need is in here. I mean, you, gotta, you know, like anything that I need, my wash rag, everything. And I load myself up, and then I go to the window, and I hopefully, you know, have good lighting in the morning. And so I'll have the window light, and then I'll have my freestanding mirror, and if you don't have your mirror, you can use your phone. It's not as easy as you think though. And the color's a little bit distorted. So there's that. I love this. Also, if I get a gig and I say, oh yeah, I can, um, I would be more than happy to walk in your runway show. Oh, you don't need me to do that, but you need me to do everything else. Well, I can do everything else. I can do wardrobe. I can do hair. I can do makeup. I can do, lineup, I can do seating, I can do event coordinating, I can deal with the contracts for the events, I can do uh, convention planning, I have I have some degrees and stuff like that and I've uh, actually created, I'm in a book for a convention and I sold it and I said, you know, I don't know really what you're buying because if you don't go do these things and chase the talent and hold these talent competitions every freaking weekend for months and set it up and work your butt off, if you don't have a me running it and just doing all this stuff, you know, doing everything A to Z, you don't have anything. I mean, you're not buying a talent roster. You're not buying a computer system. You're not buying a, a big, huge website. I mean, once you buy the websites, they have to just keep, continue the payments, you know? And he says, oh, babe, I'm not buying your convention to keep it going. I'm buying your convention to put you out of business so you're not my competition. And I said, oh, oh, it never even dawned on me. Okay, all right, I get it. Excellent. Okay, I'm good with that. Ding, 